when you when you looking at hip hop as a whole right now, do you think like hip hop is is going down? Focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You gotta focus on yourself. I could have shook night some shit. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you like a real 90s baby, like early 90s baby. Yeah, the West Coast influenced anybody. You can't say it didn't. Told you. <laughs> what I say? Ferrari cost 600,000. Stop playing with me. Hunters with the blue faces. Feeling nipsy. Louis V briefcases. Getting tipsy. Keep it with me. It's a murder if a nigga tempt me. The streets talking. You niggas know what it do. With some money, I could never imagine you. I be ducked off. I ain't got nothing to prove. I'm in Malibu with a nigga fool. 400. Welcome back to the 400 Podcast. I'm your host, Stevie, of course. To my left, I got none other. YG. Before we even start, I just feel like it's necessary because, like I told y'all on episodes prior, we not doing no weak shit. We not just interviewing no, no lollipop-ass niggas. I'm just going to keep it real. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I want to start off by saying this man has been nominated for a Grammy. Multi-platinum. More than one time, because some of y'all forget what multi is. I always tell y'all that multi means Time at the time, creative director, global phenomenon, global, around the world. This man's big, North Carolina, Charlotte. I want to welcome one of the, one of the great fathers that I see. I'm, just, I'm, I'm talking about from the internet, what I see on the internet. One of the great fathers that I see, and I believe it. The baby, welcome to the 400 Podcast. That's a hell of an introduction, my nigga. I appreciate it. For sure, for sure. I appreciate y'all having me. What's the word? Street certified, real nigga in the I building. Know it, yeah. Man. My nigga, you know yeah. it. And to be honest, I watch a lot of your interviews. I watch a lot of your interviews. And I can just hear it in y'all, like the, the tone of a, you know how you, you see the growth you've seen from the beginning of your interviews? Yeah. I can just hear it in like the tone of y'all voice. Like, niggas is a grown man. Yeah. Elevating. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gonna be perfect. It's impossible. So we're gonna sit right here and fake it. But like, I can just tell in the tone of your voice, hearing it sitting across from you, like, damn. This is a different the in, baby than I'm used space to. Right now, yeah, sure, than sure. I'm used to hearing. So it's like when I'm seeing it, I'm like, damn, mm. I'm thinking I'm finna get somebody in here super over the top and it's just like I can tell like you homing in on like mm. this who this is who I am. Like, like how do you find space in that? Like, is it therapy? Nah, I really ain't did a second of therapy. I ain't just like I said, I just get around some love, you know what I mean? I do something I enjoy doing and yeah, that'd be like my outlet for whatever. Are you opposed to therapy? Nah, not at all. Like my therapy just ain't did none. Yeah, I feel like 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 the gym, like when I be in the gym working out, that shit therapeutic as that fuck. Too. For a nigga. Mm -hmm. Like nigga, that shit really like help a nigga get through the day, help a nigga get going, you know what I'm saying? Whatever a nigga got on his mind, nigga in that gym, nigga pushing that weight on that treadmill, nigga, that shit you ain't thinking about that. <laughs> That's a fact. That's I gotta good. I gotta get in there, man. I've been in my daddy mode, you know, the new baby and Oh, I'm just eating and just daddying up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, we're well, bringing up like the daddy mode. Like, how many kids you got? Four daughters. Four okay. kids. All girls. All girls. Mm -hmm. All girls. Oh, we. You got girl, straight. You got girl two. Gang. How many I got daughters two. you got? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't dude. nobody love you like them daughters though. You yeah, no facts. What you What you just had? I just had a boy. Okay. But okay. I got a daughter. My daughter eight. Yeah. Got Brooklyn and Sincere. Yeah. It's yeah, dope. Yeah. That, I finally got the. You know how you want the girl and the boy, there but you, you go. got four girls. Like. Four one. Man, did, did that kind of like change your perspective? I always wondered this from dudes, cause like. I mean, from my first daughter, you know what I'm saying? Like my first daughter, man. I, that's, I adore, I, I adore my daughters the most, you know what I'm saying? But my first daughter, that's what really changed. That was like before I popped, you know what I'm saying? But that's when I really, oh yeah, for sure. Like I popped like the next year, she was one. You know what I'm saying? When I popped, but I, yeah, I got that shit up out of there. Like, <laughs> yeah, I guarantee, you know what I'm saying? That's what I told her when she dropped. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that's just always been something I can stand on. She my number one fan, you know what I mean? She don't play by me at all. When it come to anybody, me, is anybody in me is me. Yeah, for sure, for sure, she don't play that shit. So ain't nothing like the, that love from your daughters, man. And, you know, being able to goddamn be something your kids could be proud of, you know what I'm saying? That's therapy, that's more therapeutic than anything, you know what I mean? Being something your kids could be proud of. It's prize pick time. Yeah, it's prize pick time. It's time to let all that barbershop talk about sports go to the next level by making daily projections on any NBA or NFL game. Prize Picks is a skill-based fantasy game where all you have to do is just select more or less on the players that you love to watch. If you really think you're a hooper like my boy YG think he is. Mm. Oh. 
but you're really just sitting at home on the couch, use Prize Picks. You can get an entry in like 60 seconds. All you got to do is go over to prizepicks.com, use the promo code 400, and they will literally match you up to $100 on your first deposit. That means if you put 50, they're giving you 50. If you put 100, they're giving you 100. It's really that easy. All you got to do is go over to prizepicks.com or download the Prize Picks app and make sure you use promo code 400. Let them know we sent you. How do y'all balance out four kids? How many moms? Do, how many moms? Three. Three. Got you. Got one. I got two. I know it's in the beginning. It was chaotic for me for sure. It's like, mm -hmm. God, damn, how I'm gonna get two people that love me to get along, even though I'm only with one of them. So like, how do you like balance that out? I'm doing great. I ain't got no problems on that end. I like mm -hmm. to hear that. Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm doing great too. Mm -hmm. Real shit. Like, you know. Family first, the family gotta be straight. Everything gotta be, you know what I'm saying, right, solid. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying, them kids gotta be, you know what I'm saying, the situation, whatever situation my kids is in, school, whatever, whatever, they gotta be. Top of the line, Yeah, put top of the line, solid, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I think saying? you don't get, I think you get your blessings when you take care of business like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Sure, yeah, for sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I, and I, I like to ask people that because, I like to hear other niggas' point of view and shit because you'll be looking at it thinking like, oh man, my situation this, and then somebody else like, no, it can be resolved. You can, you can, shit, man, I'm rocking out. I'm this shit going like it's supposed to, so I know mm -hmm. it's not impossible to do. So a lot of dudes out there, if y'all going through it, make it right. The kids are with you. Yeah, you gotta have kids, that balance man. and the take kids balance. Get that done. Matter at the end of the day, uh -huh. when you when you looking at hip hop as a whole right now, do you think like hip hop is is going down? I want to know what you th feel about that too. How I feel about it. I don't give a fuck where hip hop is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nigga, the stream is good. Up, that nigga's gonna be up. Exactly. I think I'm a motherfucking up. rapper. Exactly. I'm, making exactly. music. I'm making music and putting this shit out. If it's up, if it's there down, you go. Exactly. if it's whatever the fuck is going on, they gotta nigga, be I'm the rapping. mindset. Nigga, it's exactly. so <laughs> they gotta be the mindset, man. You gotta focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You gotta focus on yourself. Walmart ain't worrying about what a motherfucking. Grocery store business coming that they don't they can't think about that. You get what I'm saying? They gotta keep putting that food on the shelf and products on the shelf. You get what I'm saying? And keeping it going. Yeah, so yeah, like, I feel like I feel that way about it. You know what I mean? We gotta focus on our own journey along the way. And yeah, let shit unfold, have it do unfold. You know, it's our responsibility to adapt to the shit. You get what I'm saying? Other than that, everything, everything. Adapt um, and die. For sure. Facts. Adapt, sink or swim. Yeah. Like, where do you find inspiration to even still create music? Like, cause I, like I look at your story, when I look at your story as a whole, I'm mm -hmm. like, to be straight up, like getting the face you like, you a strong, you a strong dude, man. Yeah. To keep pushing through, through everything and still being great through everything. I don't think you ever got a chance to really like, like grieve, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like, where, where do you find inspiration with all the shit that happened in your life? Where do you yeah. find inspiration to create music like still? I mean, that's the like that's the nigga outlet. You know what I mean? Going back like what I said earlier, and it's something I enjoy doing. It's something I love doing. Just creating, period. Not even just with music. Like on the whole film and the production side, I see just one of that shit too. Yeah, that I, I got a uh, I got a passion for that too. That's something I've been, you know, pouring my own money into learn as much as I can learn about the entire time. So, you know, I, I got outlets in what I love doing and creating. Creating itself is an outlet for me. You know, I done seen a lot of shit, you know, from as a, a kid way before, you know what I mean? Anything, I saw a lot of shit early. So that's where a lot of my craziest ideas come from, you know, and early on, you know, learn to just, just shit. A lot of shit is like funny to me. Like we, you find, you can find something funny. You find a way to enjoy yourself. Well, no matter what you're going through, you know, some of the funniest motherfuckers, the funniest motherfucker I know, my my crackhead uncle was the, was my favorite <laughs> uncle. You get what I'm saying? My nigga. The real, he probably yeah, the yeah, really. Yeah, show, that was my favorite uncle. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm, like, you know, I learned early on, you know, you don't really got to have shit to, you know, to still be that nigga, to still enjoy yourself or whatever. Right. But that also, you know, motivated me to go out and go get everything. You get what I'm saying? But now that you got it, it's just about, you know, finding ways to enjoy yourself in this hot and. I done found the balance, the middle ground to do it just with creating it, you know, taking care of my people and inspiring my people and just seeing the greatness, seeing the light in others and just helping them, you know what I mean? Open that light up and shine it on the world, you know, with what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga can't wait to see a motherfucking film. Oh, yeah, nah, for by, sure. About a baby. I know oh, it's coming on the soon. Way. 
film and TV and shit. Like, nigga, your shit, shit be crazy, nigga. Nah, for sure. Nigga, for sure, yeah. For sure. Nigga can't wait to see that. Make my mark on that on that lane, for sure. Yeah, no, you got it. I'm on it. Nigga already know you gonna mm-hmm. do something stupid. Mm-hmm. For sure. What's that TV shit you got going on? Like a script, you got something you doing? Yeah, I got a, uh, I got a script, the TV show. It's in the works at Amazon and shit. I've been working on that shit for like years and shit. Yeah. Um, it's finally in the works. Um, You gonna act in it or you, yeah, what I'm you doing, on, you producing? Uh, I created it, I'm producing it, I'm, I got co-writer credit, I'm starring in it, I'm doing a whole it's little hard. shit. And um, one of the main producers, he did Snowfall and shit too, so mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, he how I really got, like, through some through some of the, some of the bullshit, cause that shit, bro, that, like, yeah. that shit. Boy, whole nother world, yeah. yeah. That shit a whole nother thing, so. Yeah. Um, but shit though, the story, like, it's basically about the underbelly of Hollywood type shit. You know how mm-hmm. they, when motherfuckers think of LA, you feel me, they think of Hollywood, palm trees, the beach, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All that shit. But when you out here and you be out here, you be hearing about all the all yeah. the shit that be happening on the dark side. Yeah. Motherfuckers coming out here, getting robbed, getting extorted, joining yeah. gangs. It, it's about that world, but it's mm-hmm. told from a um, security guard company perspective. You know okay, what gotcha, saying? gotcha. And the security guards is all street niggas, you, you feel me, from the city. So, um, yeah, that's the storyline. It's going to be- it's, hard. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like that for sure. It's going to be like that. You got something you working on right now, like you directing, that you can talk about? Yeah, my documentary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my documentary. It's going to be yeah, so niggas like a that. docu-series, too. So that's going to be some some groundbreaking shit, something that ain't never been done before. Got a title? Mm-hmm. Should've, should've told a therapist. Hello, dropping bombs yeah. on the phone on the tank. Yeah, 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 dope, yeah, yeah. Told you me. heard it. Like speaking you heard of therapist, it here first. I, like looking at like looking at your life, and like I said, I hate to just you know all, all the shit you've been through, but I feel like as a black man, I have to like actually just like, do you ever think you had a time to really like grieve? Like you feel what I'm saying, like really take a time away from everything because like the whole family looking at the baby, like yeah. the breadwinner, you the strong one. You, you the reason they still going is because of you. But do you think you ever? Had a time to really be like sit back and like reflect and really get a chance. Yeah, to recently you get what I'm saying. Like that's just that's like a space I just recently got in, like this year, 2023. You know what I'm saying? Up until then, hell nah. So that's why you know, like, like I take like you know droughts I done went through and, and just you know times of uh, times of motherfucking a struggle or whatever with my career or whatever. I look at that shit. It, it ended up being something I needed, you get what I'm saying? Ended up being something much needed, a nigga needed to, to get the car parked, you know what I'm saying? So I could have time to get my shit together, really self-reflect, really, you know what I mean? Catch up with everything that's been going on with me, cause you know, as a youngin', like I've been, I've been new as a as a kid, you know what I'm saying? How to just, you know, sweep whatever I was going through up under the rug and keep that shit pushing, that's how we came up, you get what I'm saying? That's just a cloth from the cut from, so that's, you know, going through some shit's completely normal to me. You know what I'm mean? saying? I expect that in 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 every era of life, I expect that shit. That shit comes in no surprise. Shit going too good, that ain't normal to me. You know what I'm saying? Shit going perfect, that ain't ain't, ain't nothing normal about that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that ain't right. how it go. You hey, always ain't do that something. fucked up that like us as yeah. black people like nigga that is regular. That's what I'm saying. It's regular like, shit. shit is too good, we get scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, like no, hold on, man. Right. right, I want to just be get somewhere and be still, and <laughs> something gonna happen. Yeah, but nah, man. man, everything a blessing at the end of the day. Everything is a blessing within everything. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I really appreciate, you know, I didn't I didn't grew to appreciate goddamn, you know, shit I done went through. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For, for sure, sure, for sure. Sometimes the bullshit save a nigga life. I swear to God. Sometimes you get the bullshit what I'm saying? Sometimes a nigga like, go and I, yeah. Sometimes a nigga uh, uh, end up going to jail when they would have fucked around and died. The nigga, Real. You get what Real I'm saying? Shit. Jail or save somebody like what have you. You get what I'm saying? So. I'm a firm believer in everything happening how it's supposed to happen. And, and you know, just knowing as a man, you feel me, it's up to me to stand on our team and navigate through whatever. You know what I mean? That's how I'm set up. Yeah. Shit, you ever thought about just setting the camera up and just letting your daughter just run run free? Cause she like everything. She That's can just what get they on, do anyway. Yeah, yeah she can just shit. get on there and say anything and she just natural, it's natural. Yeah, my like, kids you ever amazing. thought about that? Nah, I mean, I don't, I don't force none of this, none of this shit I got going on on my kids. Like I let them, you know, choose what they want. They strong-minded girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, to my oldest though, they all of them, but you know, the older they get, all of them, I see that quality in all of them. All of them strong-minded, brave, fearless. So, you know, I don't, I let them decide what they want to do and I give them all the tools necessary and all the knowledge I can give them. 
and let them, you know, find their own way through whatever and just be there to support them and guide them. You know what I'm saying? So dope. Yeah. Bro, that's really dope. I see, I be like, man, damn, she, like, you can see, you know how you just see it in some people, like, they ain't even got to do shit. And it's like the natural talent is just there when I was yeah. trying. Like, yo, that, one of your greatest albums, to me personally, you got a shit ton of music. Kirk, name yeah. it, you know, naming it, what you named it, like, everything about it made fucking sense to me. Like, the time and everything is like, when I sit back, because I didn't really know your backstory, so now I'm like, damn, now I'm knowing the timeline. Mm. I feel like people really, to be straight up, like, people really, it, it's kind of fucked up to me, because, like, the timeline of everything that transpires, like, damn. Yeah. Like, damn. When I'm putting it together now, you know, I'm reviewing it, going over, you know, I'm interviewing you, man. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going over and I'm looking, I'm saying, the timeline of shit is like, damn, a nigga was going through shit. Not saying you need a pass when you fucking up, but like, yeah. damn, a nigga going through shit, like, have some, show some compassion. So when you was naming the album that, going into making it that, with everything that was going on, how that feel to go back now, like, because we living for our last name, so how that feel to be like? Yeah, it was, a, it was an honor, you know what I'm saying? That was something I did just as a man, period, you know, dedicating that project to my pops and shit. And then he got to see me pop, like, before he passed. You get what I'm saying? So I felt good about that anyways. Had a conversation with him where, he, you know, he saluted me, let me know I taught him something. You get what I'm saying? I went against everything. Like, nah, fuck that. This is what I'm doing and did it. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I was really at peace with that more than more than anything and being able to just honor that and carry the last name like a king. You get what I'm saying? That's what I did. And shit, number one album, my baby picture is sitting on the nigga. On the nigga lap, you get what I'm saying? That's that's that. It ain't no, it ain't no better way to do that. You know what I'm saying? With the man. big ass Kirk chain, exactly. Though, like, you feel? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, that you year know, you pulled like some DMX let world, shit. Let the world know Real. the name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, that's the way to carry that, man. I, you know, that was that was an honor. The pleasure was all mine to be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? As a man, yeah, as a nigga, firstborn son, to be able to carry it like that. That's major. Yeah, that's how you want to go out. Yeah, that, and uh -huh. it's like it's, it's it's gonna last forever, no matter what. That's a fact. And that's what we doing this shit for. For uh -huh. shit to last forever. That's a fact. And when you doing it like that, it's gonna last forever because it's pure. This shit exactly. Pure. What I learned from you just watching your whole career, because I've been watching you 2016 or something like that, and I was looking, I'm like, this is what it's like when a nigga don't stop. When you putting the work in, because everybody, this is what everybody don't see you stretching for the race, yeah. but they see you breaking through the tape. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody seems to like appreciate the fact that you really did the real grind of this rap shit. I'm talking about like. Going on yeah, tours, vans, passing out like, CDs, real passing posters, out, the, the flies real on rap cars, shit. all that shit. Yeah, for sure, you ain't for like sure. Honey Bake overnight, just nah, well, hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. It's just when I caught fire, I yeah, I lit shit on fire. I ain't stop. You know what I mean? And luckily I didn't, cause then twelve months in, we got this shit out of nowhere called COVID. You get what I'm saying? Man. So if I didn't come in, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? But Drop you a, had a motherfucking number one nah, through, sure. through COVID. Hey, yeah, you know what? I dropped, I dropped soon as COVID. Y'all know you was could perform that Man, what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look, that shit was crazy. Too hot. That shit felt like I was doing a bid somewhere. Like, I'm in prison just sitting back not being able to make all this money, man. And then, like I say, like, that's that was, like, how I was dealing with it, anything I'd be going through. Like, I'm just hustling. I'm too busy to goddamn deal with that shit anyway. You get what I'm saying? So when that shit, you know what I mean, kind of got them powers, you know, it kind of, it, it gave a nigga, it gave everybody problems time to catch up with their ass. You get what Hell I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And, and then shit, house. I don't know how many months into that, that's when my older brother commits suicide. You get what I'm saying? And COVID. COVID probably part of the reason it did. You know what I mean? One of the reasons that took a nigga, you know, up through that, took a nigga overboard. But yeah, like, so even with that, so... With that going on, it's like, boom, I'm sitting still, still having to deal with this shit. You know what I mean? Like, can't even go nowhere. Can't even go nowhere, clear your mind type shit. That's when it was, you know, it was serious. But, uh, but yeah, man, you know, it, it's just blessed. It's, it's just a blessing to still just be able to sit here today in this position that I'm in, in this space that I'm in, and be able to, you know what I'm saying, find a lesson within everything a nigga done been through and shit. You get what I'm saying? To still be here holding it down for me and my people, you know, mm -hmm. and, and just sitting there. Uh, Setting an example, leading, leading by, an, leading by example, you know, for all the youngins in my life and shit, and everybody else. I take care, of, I take care of a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a blessing to still be strong enough and clear minded enough to hold that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah. I think yeah. it's a it's a big sign of maturity for you to just be open about it like that. Like, no, nah, for sure. A lot of the shit, I, a lot of shit you keep inside, and that make it worse. Like you said, being trapped in house. Yeah, COVID. man, it's, it's negative effects yeah. to that shit for sure. 
Hey, boy, I think what's going to be far as everybody seeing everything that you've been going through. Yeah. And, like, when you get your shit back to where you want it, niggas yeah. going to see that. And yeah. niggas going to be like, damn, we just saw this. That's the story. That's the journey. Uh -huh. This nigga came and got his shit back. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Again. <laughs> and you feel me? You going to be mm -hmm. like, God, nigga. And the, and the documentary gonna be the gonna be the entire outline of that shit, man. That's gonna be the 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 motion picture, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Made around that exact thing what we talking about, bro. Just a story of resilience and just yeah. holding that shit down, you know what I mean? Thugging it out and getting back where you not even getting back where you're supposed to be, getting further than you was before. Exactly. You know, I'm the one for that. I'm on that, man. Full speed ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Now you gonna put me in the video or what? Yeah, right I got then. you whenever you're ready. Man. <laughs> yeah, line me up, man. That's Let me easy. Just get that ain't about shit. Yeah, I got one. Go. I got one. I'm gonna play for you before we got them. Get about it. I got oh one. yeah, shit! I just did the other night. Oh, oh for man. sure. Uh huh. Some West Coast shit. All right, all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. We got the big studio with the with the um with the fuck with what's the ones called? Speaking them Osbergers. Yeah, shit. the Osbergers. We got, got them, them at the crib. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like I feel, I low key feel like like bitch is forty thousand a pop. Hello. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Fuck that. Talk that shit. Break the glass in the windows. <laughs> And make the, make the neighbors like call song. the police. Yeah. It's them. Now I feel like like the, the space that we in, the streets is dead. Like, the streets is dying. You know what I'm saying? Like, because now real life and the internet is starting to clash. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, it's kind of it's kind of hard to separate the real from the fake because the internet making, is giving voice to people that shouldn't have a voice. The code is being broken. Like, not, you know, like, there's a solid code. And a lot of people think when we say the code, we talking about gangs. No, it's just being a man. It's principles you stand on as a man. It's not no street code. It's a, you're a man. So I how mean, do you feel about the internet in the streets colliding like that? Like it's codes of the streets too that's, that you stand on when you, like if you feel like you a part of the streets or you a street nigga, it's shit. That it's like, if you from the streets, it's certain shit that you don't do. Cause you know what I'm you saying? From the, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, how you feel about all that shit? Like, 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 as far as like the the internet is now the streets. I just mind my business, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out here minding my business, man. I done learned. I can't play both of them games. It ain't. It don't work for me. You feel me? Yeah, no. For so you get that luxury. I just mind my business, you know. And get back to using the internet for what I was using it for in the first place. That's a tool. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's just how I navigate through that shit. I just use it as a tool and, yeah, and, and entertain myself for sure. And be some entertainment on them. Yeah, you do it now, they do it. Oh, but I don't get caught up in it. I be stuck it. on that phone laughing all Yeah, not for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's where I find my entertainment at, but other than that, you know, I mind my business through it. You know how to separate mm -hmm. the two worlds. That's you got to. got to separate the two worlds, man. Reality is, it, it, reality in social media is two different worlds. And like now that we're getting into that, Speaking of like reality in the internet, you know that they said Bop was supposed to be a promo video, not like an actual video like it was. Like my music video. Yeah, that was supposed to be a promo video. Yeah, that the one that I the video I put out, that was just the last take of the whole day. So that was we threw this shit on YouTube just because we was like, damn, this shit hard. Like it's the whole song, like in one take. And that shit did like 10 million views. And like less than a day, and we we're like, oh no, that's the video. Just left it. And that shit ended up doing what it did. That shit that I it almost said, what, like a billion views or some shit. I ain't look. In a minute, like 800,000 or some shit, I think. My that's highest dope. view video, but it's just the last take of the day. It's a one take. We just put the song behind it. <laughs> Uploaded that shit sounds crazy hearing it like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's the budget for that video? What was the budget? Bop was up though, because we Bop had them dancers and shit in it whenever you got them dancers. They go by like that, uh, what's it called, like SAG? Yeah, that SAG. Mm -hmm. they, uh, oh, so you got to pay, you know what I mean? Union. Certain work. We got a union. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was a, probably so a ticket. Yeah, the union. Was it a ticket? You think it was niggas. a ticket? Nah, hell nah. It was up there, though. Fuck no. It, it wasn't nowhere near <laughs> a million. It was 100 plus. 200. Yeah. 100, 200 top. Like, being that you're from the East Coast, 200. who was like your go-to West Coast artist? Go to West Coast artists, which you mean like growing like that up you with. fuck with like that. I, fuck with, I fuck with Jizzle. I fuck with Jizzle. Show like, for show. Like is you saying like on of all time? Or, I, I, fuck, I fuck. Okay, so all time. Snoop told you. For sure. <laughs> That's my nigga. 
What Snoop, I that's unk. I fuck with Snoop. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga. Yeah. Got a real good relationship with Snoop too. I fuck with a lot of niggas though, bro. I was born in 1991, so like a lot of niggas, and you know, LA a whole like even like my favorite movies, all that shit. Like that shit is, you know, them that shit is about day culture. You get what I'm saying? Like film and shit was out here. So, you know, like in terms of like, you know, we watch movies growing up, especially like in our era, the movies, that shit damn near raised us. That's what yeah. taught us how to how to be out here, you get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And that shit was, it's surrounded around they culture, you get what I'm saying? But I'm from the South, so, you know, it's completely different at the same time, you get what I'm saying? But a lot of like the morals and principles and, and what have you, you know, a lot of that shit, the movies and that film, that, that shit got a major influence, you know what I'm saying? Even with artists, like, it wasn't artists when we was kids, it wasn't artists like on like that from the South. The South got on a little bit later on, you know what I'm saying, the niggas life, so. The West Coast had a major influence on anybody. I think, period. You get what I'm saying? Period. Period. Yeah, anybody, the unless they like just that. born, unless yeah. you, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, if you were, you like a real '90s baby, like early '90s baby. Yeah, the West Coast influenced anybody. You can't say it didn't, because that's what you saw. That's all you got them saw for a while. You get what I'm saying? So, really, all them niggas, bro. Everybody, all them niggas, just the sound, the culture, the swag, everything about it. You know that shit is appealing to. A nigga being born in 1991, yeah, you get what I'm saying? And being raised in the environment, being brought up the way I was brought up, the type shit we'll lean towards. It's, yeah. And you know, I, and, and that's what I'm saying, like in terms of like who I fuck with today, I think Jizzle is the nigga. He like embodied that, like a, a LA nigga. Yeah, you get LA what I'm nigga. saying? Yeah, I'm that's how the nigga walk, talk, that's how he dress. <laughs> he ain't, I, he not, you get what I'm saying? Trying to be like For real. the niggas got them in the South, this or that. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, yeah, the LA coach always been appealing to a nigga. You get what I'm saying? Both sides of it. You know what I mean? You ever thought about living in LA? Yeah, right before COVID. But then that shit, I was looking at spots and everything. Right before COVID, right when COVID hit, I was still looking at spots. But then that shit just felt, I ain't like I had felt. Felt like a ghost town out this bitch. Like when that yeah, shit yeah. first hit, like yeah, LA took that shit serious. You get what I'm saying? Hey. I'm, through this bitch. I'm like, nah, I'm gone. Hey, it was yeah, bad, no. and that shit fucked up. A then lot the back of the end, uh, yeah, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah, that chili was, that shit was yeah. fucked up. Hey, but, but speaking on, on on that, you 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 made it out your city, and for you sure. still live there. That's yeah, for the sure. same type of shit. Uh -huh. You feel me? I got going on, like, and like, um, a lot of artists, just successful motherfuckers that come from, you know what I'm saying, treacherous places and ghettos, mm -hmm. and they make it out their cities. You know what I'm saying? They move away, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you, me, it's a couple other motherfuckers mm. still living where they from, and that mm. shit dangerous as fuck. Nah, it is. You know what I'm saying? So for you to still be living, you know what I'm saying, where you from, nigga, you feel me? I salute you. Cause nah, a lot of sure. motherfuckers, you feel me, they get on and be out of there. Yeah, yeah, they almost got to, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, they almost got to, especially, you know, especially goddamn in certain places. It ain't big enough, you see what I'm saying? Like, real, you know, it just simply ain't big enough. Like you better nah. get you better get your ass yeah, on. You know what I mean? Out know, here, you know, you got more wiggle room, you get what I'm saying? But it's still close as hell, dangerous than a yeah, motherfucker. See, but, but it's wiggle room, right? But like on a game, like I've go to like Newport Beach, yeah. Maestros. Yeah. I'm walking into Maestros. It's a group of gangbangers walking <laughs> yeah, out. Nah, it's sure. niggas, it's like, look, niggas having stare downs. Exactly. I'm like, bro, I'm all the way in Newport Beach. Yeah. Yeah. You got you to gotta understand when you in LA. Mm -hmm. Politics. And the niggas, whoever feel like they got some money, you know what I'm saying, street niggas with some money, they going to go hit all the places that, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, we no low key exactly. Exactly. ain't no low-key spot. They gonna go to Nobu, nigga. Nobu, nigga. Maestro's in Malibu, nah, Nobu in Malibu. Facts. They doing all, so you running into these niggas like, man, what the fuck you niggas doing over exactly, here? Like, exactly, exactly. You ain't supposed to be over here. Like, uh -huh. I feel like the hood niggas got these past couple years, they have been having money though. Oh, niggas getting some money They get some money now. Niggas getting money everywhere. Money everywhere. everywhere. Running, now. It's the nigga getting some money everywhere. Everywhere. You running into these niggas in the places you thinking that like, oh, I'm finna be ducked off. You running into these niggas, you feel me? So it's like a nigga think he got some wiggle room. Nigga, on me, your ass get got. Nah, for sure, for <laughs> sure. You gotta move smooth, L. Mm -hmm. L. Nigga, you might as well get the chef and stay in the crib. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. I, I learned that I just invest in my house. I got everything in that motherfucker. So I ain't gotta complain. If I don't wanna leave, I got everything in this joint. Yeah. Everything. I, don't, I damn near don't gotta go to the grocery store no more. I got everything in my house and that's what I invested in. I spend my money on that. 
versus other shit. Like, yeah, nigga, I call all that type of shit, but like my house, I feel like this is where we come and we lay our head at the end of the day. So I feel like when I did get some money, I had to get up out of there. No question. I'm from a different part of it, though. It's like they don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's a smaller town. So you get some yeah. money. Ain't nobody else got no money. They don't and everybody gonna know you got the money. Everybody gonna know you got the money. You can't even hide it. Yeah, you from watch is real grimy. It's different where I'm from. Yeah. So it's like when I did get the money, I still go there all the time. They love me. I get love, but live there, I can't do it. Yeah. I just can't. Do that mean I can't go? Hell no, they love me. But I know they'll take my ass out in a second for that nah, bread. For sure, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's better to be smarter and then I'm my kid. You know, my girl, exactly. take care of my folks and be smarter, not just think, yeah. oh, just because I'm him, I can do what I want. Smarter than that. You know what yeah, I mean? For sure, so, sure. I get a lot of comparisons when you're doing videos to you and like Ludacris. Is that like your influence to, when you're doing videos? I was influenced by a lot of them niggas, man. All them niggas, Ludacris, Busta Rhymes, Timberland, everybody, Missy Elliott, in it, man, Nelly. Yeah, everybody yeah, with different yeah. waves of niggas, yeah. like, like me being, you know, me being, me being born in 1991. Like I witnessed like a lot of niggas, like in their prime, like, I, like the West Coast still had it. When goddamn I was young, you know, like I done seen different regions, goddamn had they errors within mm -hmm. the music. So many different ones, you get what I'm saying? So I drew inspiration from all of it. All of it. There wasn't nobody that had it going on. You get what I'm saying? It did their thing and I ain't I ain't take something from that's how this shit go. Mm-hmm. Hey, nigga to to nigga to be a rapper, like an artist, you know what I'm saying? But to be able to get behind the camera yeah. or with the camera crew and get your vision across. And it come out like how your shit be coming out. You know what I'm saying? I salute you because I know yes, like man. what that shit take. You feel nah, me? That sure, shit sure. is not easy. Yeah, like, nah, that shit ain't easy at <laughs> all. Nigga, that man. shit that ain't shit, easy. Man. That nigga know something, man. A nigga didn't, didn't put the, the the time and the effort, the energy, yeah. the bread, and the trying to learn as much of that shit as possible, man. And you know, sp spend my money, pay for the game. You get what I'm saying? I paid for that game, man. Spent millions on, you know, doing videos and trying shit. I didn't, Shot plenty of shit that I ain't never put out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, just yeah. to just to goddamn turn my idea into a thing. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I got some dope shit too that I could put out. And my boys probably be like, "Damn, like you tripping?" You know what I'm saying? Plenty, yeah. plenty, bro. But you know, I, that's something I really enjoy doing. That's something I'm gonna continue to do. And really, I, I feel like it ain't none of the movies. The movies I'm speaking on that was filmed out here. That you know what I mean? That they show like how the culture was out here back in the day. And classics. Ain't none. Ain't no fun. Ain't none nowadays. Ain't none. And I feel like it's gonna take somebody who got guts and and you know and who willing to, to jump out there and to, to spend their own dollars and to, to get the right people and put them in position and, and put the right ideas on that screen to give this era some classic shit to hold on to and Real. you know put them morals and uh, and them lessons and uh that you know what I'm saying that yeah. they got them put to put the shit that we need to put on their mind. It's a lot of agendas being pushed you know, from different directions out here in the world right now. But like we, you know, we could always rely on like a good hood movie or a good yeah. classic, a good, whether it was a comedy or whatever, the way it got like real substance to it and it got real underlying messages in it and shit did really teach you, you know, life lessons and you know how to get out. Like if you live like this, these the type of results out there waiting on you, you live like that. You know, these movies got these different characters. They got the character that, flew straight, that went to school, that mm -hmm. did right. You know what I'm saying? They got the character that's, that's all the way out there. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, he gonna fade away before the end of the movie, he gonna die. They got the one that's his friend. They teach you about goddamn, you know, the company you keep and how they could potentially, you know what I'm saying, lead to your downfall or whatever. You know, so it was so many like real life lessons that was that was embedded in, in film and television when we was growing up. Not just film, television too. Even like the sitcoms, you gotta think about them like the Martins and the yeah. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, yeah, all them, matters. the Steve Harvey show, yeah. all them ain't none of that right now. But Mike Epps got a dope, a dope shit. Uh, the Upshaws, his yeah, shit Upshaw, fire. Pretty dope. Yeah. yeah, so that's why even like when I see, you know what I mean, like like when I saw uh, Jizzle announce what he had going on with the show and shit that he got that he writing and shit or whatever, like that was that was dope shit. Like but that's something I'm big on, something I've been working on too behind the scenes, just. You know, making my way. Yeah, niggas see yeah, you hanging man. with 50 and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. That's my nigga. That's yeah, my I know y'all niggas up to something. Yeah, nah, nah, for sure. That's my <laughs> nigga right there, the man. Man, plenty. That's just that's just a, a, a super solid dude, man. I got a great relationship with him. 
somebody that really want me to win, somebody that really got my best interest at heart, man. And it's just a nigga I've been a fan of. Yep. You know what I mean? From the get go, another nigga that, I, that got crazy influence, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. On me from, you know, the music to the movie he put out to what he done did in film and television and just what he represented, period. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, you couldn't have been around, you couldn't have been alive. When that nigga era hit and it ain't no, got sir, damn, not that ain't year. no way. Not you that year. Me? Ain't what nothing like it. Yeah, then I, I love seeing that shit 50 doing. Man, that shit like hard, real man. street nigga. Nah, like for sure. He doing it up. And he doing, he doing it. it. And, and in control of it all. He doing yeah. it. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's still real him. He doing it his way. You see what I'm saying? That's what you got. Nigga. That's what, that's about the only place now. You get what I'm saying? Like on, on film and television, like he got this shit going on. The way it's really showing, like <laughs> our side of like how this shit go, like to the extreme, like it's really ex that crazy shit going yeah. on out here on a daily basis. It's a whole nother world. It's several different worlds that niggas ain't even, you know, niggas don't got the slightest idea about. He need to do some shit set out here. He need to do some shit set out in L.A. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I think him and Snoop was uh, working on. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I had seen you feel me. They was working on on. on Murder was a case or something. I don't yeah, know what happened with yeah, this shit, but I had seen it and shit. That sound hard. Yeah, man, yeah, shout out that nigga Fifth, though, doing out. it up. Yes, my nigga. Yeah. You ever thought about just buying cameras and just going crazy or something? I already got them. Equipment, yeah, investing in equipment? Spent, nigga, he said he spent money got, on that. Yeah, I already got them. I got the R cameras and shit. The shit they shoot the movies and shit with. I own, I got them bitches at the crib. Mm -hmm. And you shoot, never, you, I, yeah, see, I like to see that because it's like, like you said, it's tough to be able to tell somebody else, like, hey, man, I want this shit to look like this. And then you can get back there and be like, look, this really how I want it to look. And they come alive. I just be like, damn, like Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society. When I see them movies, I'm like, damn, I really got a homie like Kane. I really yeah. got a homie like Doughboy. I really got a homie that's just like that. You feel what I'm saying? So uh -huh. it's like, I think it's dope that y'all minds is like that to be able to create shit like that because we don't got it. And it, it can't come from somebody who ain't never lived it. Yeah. It can't, AI can't make it. Hey, I can't make no movie like Boys in the Hood. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what mechanic machine this computer do. Yeah. It can't make nothing like that. That's authentic <laughs> yeah, and real. Yeah. So I, I think that if I don't see a full length movie, I don't want no short film. I want a full length movie from the baby for sure. Nah, it's coming, man. It's coming for sure, for sure. You um, working on the album right now? Yeah, I'm always recording music and shit. So, you know, I, I, I plan on dropping my album with the documentary, like same time. Same title oh, and everything? Same time, yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, yeah. I think your performance go underrated too. I got to see you perform. I said, damn, the nigga's sick. Oh, Amazing. yeah, nah. I, but I don't think it go like underrated. I think motherfuckers understand. They know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking, cause it go, hey, hey, that that nigga's hey, that's a, a real performer. That nah, I hate to be the nigga go on at the end, boy. Nigga, I remember nigga. On the gang, I remember it was a BT Awards. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah My yeah. nigga came out with the uh, with the muscle suit. Yeah, on. with the muscle suit on this shit. I'm in the crowd. I'm like, look at the hell. Yeah, look at the nigga sure. that. That nigga had that shit rocking. And I was about six months in. I wasn't even six months in with this shit. I was about four, five months in. Yeah, bro. nigga came out. I ain't rocking. rehearsing none of this shit. I jumped straight off the stage. And as soon as the, the beginning of the song, like I'm in this bitch. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So now yeah. that, that's why I have my fun at too, man. Like. I enjoy that. I enjoy performing this shit, you know, cause you can't make this shit up. You know what I'm saying? When you're on that stage, it's like, you know, you gotta be him when y'all yeah, there. You bro. Know what yeah, I'm hey, you know what I'm saying? It's a gang of motherfuckers yeah. who, who win this shit, mm -hmm. but when niggas hit that stage. Yeah, that stage, yeah, they, they ain't really it. got it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's, a exactly. it's, it's an experience. It's like supposed to be an experience for a fan <laughs> to go out there. It's a gift, you gotta be, you yeah, gotta be like, like that. You gotta, gotta be an experience. Think, yeah, you gotta man. have that shit in you, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. That's what you can't, yeah. yeah you right. can't make that up. Motherfucker can't tell you, sit here, stand here, do this, look like this, and it work for you. Nah, they gotta feel you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All this shit you talking about, all that shit in there, yeah, they gotta, yeah. you gotta be able to make the motherfuckers standing in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Believe you and buy into you. And, and you gotta be able to move them in whatever direction you wanna move them in, man. So, you know, I got a great, I got a great respect for uh for people, for people who great live performers and who just, you know, know how to yeah. move a group of people and shit. That's a powerful thing. Yeah. I know the power in it. Real superstar shit. For sure, it's a powerful thing, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you got a nigga under the trance, like just watching, like, God damn, they paid their money, they paying top dollar. Yeah. So why not? Put some I, effort into the show. I enjoy goddamn, you know, making people have a good time. Yeah, yeah that shit went where it's at. Like, and then when you bringing up live shows, like, how was what was the journey like getting back into it after dealing with all the being canceled? 
like getting back into the I, live show. I had show to thug shit. through it. I was, I was performing the whole time. You get what I'm saying? Even, even with whatever you got, you know. If I'd have stopped performing, I'd have just stopped performing. So it's just like it's whatever, man. Even on the way up through it, like I done been in situations where I didn't, I done perform for two, three people. But I perform in that bitch like I, when I leave, my voice gone. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. So it's like whatever. It don't matter what amount of people is in there. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on like it's ten thousand people in that motherfucker. And no matter what, whoever's in there, everybody that's in there when they leave, they're gonna be a fan of me as a performer and you know have a respect for me and my art and and what I do and how I'm able to, you know what I mean, display my art on a live stage. You know what I mean, or with a microphone in my hand. The show, so I just you know it's a blessing, anyways, to even to even be in a position where you can get paid to goddamn express yourself and perform your music anyway, bro. You know, coming from what niggas come from, so you know it's just important to never forget how much of a blessing it is to be able to do that and get paid to do that to come. You know what I'm saying? Look good and and goddamn have all these flashing lights on you and have people come to enjoy themselves to your music. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing, bro. It ain't. You know, it ain't it ain't nothing better you could ask for. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I enjoy I enjoy every bit of it and, and try to make sure I keep myself in the space to where I'm enjoying it. I don't feel entitled to you get what I'm saying? Mm. No type of response from no crowd. You get what I'm saying? That ain't that ain't what I, I come in there to make them feel me. And if they willing to spend their hard on money to to be standing there or even be able to stand there, period, and face my direction, you get what I'm saying, and lend me their attention. You know, I owe it to myself and to them to, you get what I'm saying? Make sure they lead that bitch, you know, knowing they enjoy it, they self. Yeah. I think you answered it perfectly, because I was going to go into a question like, I remember seeing the show where you saw, you was just sold out show, and then yeah. when all the bullshit was happening, it was like, damn. Yeah. How you go from being, how did that feel going from like, I'm that dude, and then poof. It, it, it is what it is. It's a humbling experience, you get what I'm saying? Something that was much needed, it's all good. You know, you gotta you gotta thug through it. Like I say, it's whatever. You gotta adapt and you gotta appreciate the good, you know, and not and not ever give too much don't ever give more energy and attention to, you know, the bad than it is the good. Air situation do for some for some bad days, you get what I'm saying? And if you walk around feeling like you ain't never do for no bad day, you know, you gotta readjust the way you think and the way you approach life, you know. Ain't nobody above no no bad season, you know what I'm saying? You either got them quit playing or you keep going. All right. Oh, me, that nigga Molly said, you will never know how to appreciate a sunny day if it never rained. Real right. shit. <laughs> On the I, game. I think you articulate yourself, like, very well. Like, if you can go back to college, what would you have a major in if you can go back? I can go back. <laughs> what I major in. Yeah. I thought about it. I actually thought about going back. I saw who the hell I saw on Instagram the other day. Why I was like, that's hard. Yo, got Gotti. It. Yo, Yo got Gotti. It. Yeah, I said, that's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you ain't see, ain't it? I said, that's hard. I that's gangsta. And then what he that, going for. Exactly, you feel evaluating me? Evaluating like, companies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he yeah. Shit. yeah, he a dog. For yeah, that shout out Gotti for that, for though. Sure, like, that's gangster. Yeah. That's the most gangster thing I've seen in a long yeah, time. Playing. But it'll be some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Something that I can. I can really, you know what I'm saying, acquire some knowledge and put it straight to use. Put it straight to use, that's the only thing, and that's the advice I gave anybody that is going to school. I went to college for three years, yeah. I dropped out because I got into some bullshit. That's when I left, you see what I'm saying? But I went to college for like two and a half years. Hey, right, how was the- School ain't never been no, no, school always been easy. Like, I'm, it's not like I'm the type, like I don't study or none of that shit. I just come boom, boom, and I pass. I saw some shit, man. You know, the, the internet shit be funny. So I saw something where it was like showing like rappers GPA and that shit, like when they was in high school or whatever, and that shit had me and it said 1.7. I said, he nigga crazy as hell. This I said, my mama stereotype. throw her phone, stereotype. got them out of the window. Nigga, nigga, I ain't never had no goddamn, never, never. And I don't think, you know, no disrespect to nobody. I don't think nothing cool about not having, you get what I'm saying? No good grades, it is what it is, but I ain't never had no, my shit. They Not way off. They they my shit was like a three song. Mm -hmm. yeah. No matter what type nigga I was like, I always been, you know what I'm saying, intelligent. I always. You know, I got a lot of 
I got a lot of like homies that's like real like street niggas, like gangsters, yeah. like shooters and all that. But yeah. you feel me, niggas and graduated niggas smart school. as hell. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas will blow your motherfucking face off. Like, I'm like one of the smart as hell. niggas who was a dropout, but right. nigga was, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, it was like, I just, I was too doing too much fucked up shit. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of real motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, who graduated school and, and went to college and all that. Don't let yeah. the and there's people who ain't who ain't Never. went to school that's smart as hell. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, school school does what it does for, you know, it's 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 uh, it's for who it's for. You get what I'm saying? Hey, look, you went to college, right? Yeah. I ain't never like been to college. I ain't even been to prom and shit. Yeah. How was the like everybody I talk to about the college shit? They always like nigga, movie, you fucking bitch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You the college loved, girls you the loved it. was. Bro, you would've loved it, bro. Like that's- Hey, was you on campus with it? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it was up. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I had that, that co-ed doing too. That's when it's, they, Man, it's girls up. on one side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 they tell shit up. See, I'm mad that I ain't get the experience. Up. I ain't get the experience nah, that shit sure. at all. Like, I be sure. hot. That's why, that, that's probably a, a major reason why I ended up going too, cause I didn't, I went up the, but folks, see North Carolina A and T. They they have homecomings there. Yeah, that's a, a HBCU, like yeah. one of the one of the biggest HBCUs in the South. One of the most they homecoming. That's like legendary shit. And get so it's like an hour away from from Charlotte or whatever. But we used to go up there. Like we in high school, we'll go up there for their homecoming. Yeah. So I really had already like solid like, start lining that it up. side of the yeah yeah start that atmosphere up. whatever. And, and it really wasn't nothing to it. It was something that, that my, my mama didn't want it. So, you know, I went and did it for him. It really wasn't about nothing. It was easy. I must have enjoyed the, you know what I'm saying, the experience, you know what I'm saying, more than anything. Then, like, moved off campus with it the second year. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. But I'm like, nah, I got to get back and get some money. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'm going to say this, yeah. like, like what I learned, like, uh, when I first – had my first song going up like uh, 2019. I started moving around. I was like, like 19, 20. I'm moving around doing shows and shit. And what I noticed is like in the South and all that, on that side, like, like college is a part. Is it's like it's a bigger big in the black culture. Over yeah, there. for sure. For sure. For sure. Got the HBCUs. You yeah. feel me? On y'all this don't got side, no HBCUs. You don't got no. no black college. So like, damn so dumb. It ain't really yeah. a part of the culture, like going over there. That's crazy. I was going yeah. to all them homecomings and see, I'm like, oh, when these I black even people think about crack, that, like, nigga, that's crazy. Shit going yeah, y'all up, nigga. Got no <laughs> HBC. That's that's damn near. We got more of them than we got. You get what I'm Regular saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. And our shit the other way. It's like, yeah, it's the other you. way around. It's just so when I was out the there, the gap in between is is yeah. is either this or this. Goddamn. Oh yeah. God! So I started moving around over there, and I noticed like, damn, like nigga, like like college, like is a part of like black culture, heavy. Yeah. On that side, and a lot of our motherfuckers from out here, you feel me? They graduate high school, and they'll be they start Atlanta. going to like a. Mm -hmm. see you and shit, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Fast. So I, I, like, I peeped that shit, like, like oh, when I was like, like 19, 20. Yeah, that shit, shit different. Yeah, we don't got an HBCU, but USC right in the hood, dead bang. No, yeah. but we got like dead we, bang in the see, hood. See, we got like Northridge. And yeah, shit little like local that. jokers. That's like the most ghetto shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, nigga, <laughs> Cal State with fucking Dominguez. Yeah, that's, I like, I like the Dominguez. Yeah. I like that Dominguez. I had a ball at that Dominguez, you hear me? Yeah. I hosted a little radio show up there. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, that's the closest Tubi we got movie, to for sure, yeah. I had a blast. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. they they compared Pop Smoke, may rest in peace, to 50 Cent, like, like they was like, this, this is 50 Cent again, and you got a relationship with 50. Yeah. And of course, she was featured on Pop Smoke. Like, yeah, what was it like sure. working with Pop? I They sent me that song, uh, they sent me the song after bro passed. They sent me that song, and I did the record. You know what I'm saying? It was a dope record. I did the record. Yeah, hands down, did it immediately. Sent it back to him. It ended up shit going number one and all that. I, I performed that record all over the world, bro. Niggas know every word of that song. So it was dope just to be a part of a song that they helped carry a nigga name, you know what I'm saying, after they passed. Just dope to be a part of that, you know what I mean? Being able to do that for a nigga. I don't think a lot of people put you in the space. Well, I, I think you a rapper. I see a lot of your free say, you a rapper, you can rap your ass off. But yeah, you know how sure. when you make a certain genre of music, they go, he ain't a rapper. So you talking about J. Cole, who was a rapper. 
what that's like, what that relationship like when y'all in the studio? You used to rap. Really not. When I, the song I did with J. Cole, we wasn't even in the studio together. They had sent it, and of course, you know, and this was 2019. He, J. Cole from Fayetteville, that's like two and a half, three hours from Charlotte. You know what I mean? But it's still North Carolina. So him being like one of the only other like rappers that's currently in the game from North Carolina, of course, and it's J. Cole, it was an honor. You know what I mean? I did it, sent it back, then we did the video. That's when I met him. I probably, no, I met him before then. I met him, um, I met him like on some quick shit, like um, some All Star Weekend shit. in Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an event we was both at. When All Star Weekend was in Charlotte 2019. It was like right when I signed or whatever. But then, yeah, of course, like, you know, when, I, when we shot the video, that's I spent more time around him then. But it was just dope to be able to work with him, man. It was an honor looking forward to working with him some more. Anybody on that level, you know what I'm saying? Anybody on that level, man. It's an honor and a pleasure to work with him and just showcase, you know, my ability to. Yeah, my partner, uh, my partner from North Carolina too, my nigga, uh, my nigga Ty Gurley, my nigga TG. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. my nigga too, I fuck with, bro. Yeah. Now, a lot of, the NBA Youngboy just dropped consecutive, back to back, back yeah. to back to back. So when I seen y'all work together, I'm like, damn, I, like, then he in this situation and then it was that situation. It's like, it was so perfect. I wish that the times was different because, yeah. Honestly, like sonically, everything, like the, how they put the album together. Yeah. Like whoever put the placement, like this song needs to go out there. This, whoever did this to this music is so perfect. And it's like, it just sucked. I feel like the marketing was, couldn't really market it because yeah. of his situation. Like when things all, when the smoke clear, can we get more NBA Young Boy and more? Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, I would love to. Love that nigga. Love that nigga. Love what he represent. Love. Love what he do, love how consistent he is, you know, how comfortable he is with being himself. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of respect for it. So now nah, I love to do some music with him whenever, yeah, whenever, you know, time allowed. For sure. Did you ever feel like when you did make the album with Young Boy, like the industry tried to make it be like a pick a side type shit? Nah, I ain't thinking about none of that shit. It's music, man. That, yeah, I ain't this is what this shit all about, the music. I feel like that. But I have to ask you, did yeah. you feel like that, you know? Like nah. You picked the side. Nah, I ain't thinking about none of that. I respect it. Like I said, when nah. I first really started locking in on your music, it was 2016, I believe. Yeah. Came across Animal. I'm like, damn, who was this nigga rapping on that? Uh, I'm going to run off as a 10 mo. I'm like, who the fuck yeah. is this? Because <laughs> yeah. I had never heard a style like that. And I'm like, yeah. oh, and he just punching too. He going crazy. Mm -hmm. what, what's the relationship like with you and Stunner? Yeah, Stunner, I wish Stunner the best. Stunner out here doing his thing. Stunner doing his thing, you know. It was it's a pleasure to be a part of a nigga, a nigga journey and be able to do something for a nigga period and help change a nigga life. You know, so anybody who I didn't ever, you know, helped out along the way or did something for, like I'm just that type of person, you know. I do from the heart, so it's always good intentions with me. You know, I wanna see everybody, anybody who got it in them, I wanna see them shine, I wanna see their light shine. So, you know, that's how I'm really rocking with anybody. Yeah. Is it tough to be like an artist in control of other artists' careers? So you like, man, I gotta let that shit go and focus on me. Nah, nah, not at all. Like I say, you know, along my journey, anybody who I can help shine a light on, I'm the type of person I'm gonna do it. You know, I'm gonna do it. They don't even necessarily gotta be signing me or whatever. Like, you know, if I take a liking to something, I ain't the person that got a problem with, you know doing whatever I could do for it or, or sharing the light on it or saying I fuck with that. And, you know, that's what I do. That's who I am as a man. I think to even be able to take some of the star power and be like, look, look at them too. Yeah. That's dope too because you ain't got to do that shit. You, you, yeah, you, you ain't going to see too many that. niggas do that. That's real. Uh, that's real nigga Especially shit. the way I did it, you ain't going to see it. You know what I mean? And if, and when, if ever you do know, it's, it's dope. You feel me? It's what you're supposed to do. Teach what's taught. You know what I'm saying? Pass that torch. Turn somebody else up, you know what I mean? I think why YG, you did it for a minute. You already disclosed, like, what that's like being an artist and then controlling, like, other artists' careers and then still trying to focus on your own shit. I mean, it's Charlotte. It's, it's, it's like, like everybody be having their team and shit, so it ain't really too much. Um, It ain't really too much focus, and then they got to do on some, like, everyday shit. It's just mainly the music and the uh, creative, you know? You know what I'm saying? But, um... My situation with artists and shit ain't been like, <laughs> like it ain't like a nigga. Like I don't know. I 
I didn't try, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, that's all you can do. You know what I'm nigga saying? In the right direction. Yeah, I didn't try. I didn't gave my little shit. I didn't help niggas and help everything. We all we all didn't help each other and all that. But um, yeah, like I don't know. I'm on this 400 shit though. I'm I'm into like creating shit and building like businesses outside of my rapping and all that. You know? I respect somebody going, hey man, I I gave you the opportunity. I opened the door for you. Take that no, shit. No, all crazy. my artists. Yeah, all, go open that door and like go crazy. Like everybody that I f like fuck with, like they wanted to get dropped. <laughs> 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 like I, it was them. You feel me? They like, hey, I want to get dropped. Like Let damn, for real? Oh, I bet. <laughs> like, you no, but you real for I, letting them go because not everybody gonna let them go now. Yeah, yeah I could yeah, real for letting them go saying, too. Mm -hmm. I could have shook night some shit. For yeah. Sure. yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You played it. You played it. I, but, I respect but that. But nah, no, like, you know what I'm saying? Real player shit going on, you know? Nah, for sure. Rockstar went number one. Damn, nigga, she gonna go dime. Pretty much gonna go dime. Um, what it's, was it like? It's, was by, it's knocking at the door. Yeah, like, so, like, was y'all in the studio making that or was that some more email nah, back I and did forth? It. I had did it in. And I really left it open. Like, certain songs, I just be knowing, like, all right, I'd love to hear somebody else on this bitch. And I left it open. And I had reached out to Roddy, shot it over to him. And he pulled up on me. I was out here, matter of fact. He pulled up on me. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Got on that motherfucker. Like, yeah. I remember that nigga Roddy had pulled up on me at the studio. And then he like, yeah, I'm finna go do this video this with the baby. Was, oh, and he, okay. yeah, he went to your shit right after. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. I remember that. We shot that video out there. Like, right before COVID, huh? Yep. It, it was, was like, you When we shot the video? Oh. Yeah, but, oh, it's when we recorded the song. We, when we recorded the song, that was that was... Right when COVID like first started, when niggas ain't really know what it, yeah, it was, was like. Type. Uh -huh. It was like on some February shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when we recorded. Yeah. Did that shit at uh, where was we at? Chalice, I think. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah. How long did it take for you for you like to lay your verses on that shit? How long did that? take? I had did it before. I did it like a week before, and then I had came back out and got it. But it ain't take long at all, though. Bro, did his verse. Bro, did his verse probably like I don't know. 20, 30 minutes type shit, if that. Do you Same think you ever me. dropped a song that nobody paid attention to, but you was like, man, this shit, oh, I want this. Oh, uh, I mean, I done dropped plenty of shit that I feel like, you know, I don't, bro. You know, my ability to create, bro, it don't, it don't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, I don't, I don't look at nothing and, and just like, you know, have a certain, I have expectations for like certain records, like I will here and there, but like, you know, the best shit, the, the most successful shit is just when a nigga just creating what they want to create, you know what I'm saying? And putting it out that that always end up being the best, the best music, bro, and the most successful music, you know, when you just creating what you want to create and how you presently feeling so you can carry it out, you know what I mean? Your plans and your ideas, you can carry them all the way out and still feel good while doing it. You know, it's gonna reflect in the work, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna reflect, you feel good about it, song, the way you market it, everything around it, you know what I mean? It's something you can stand on and, and treat like you love it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my approach, man, whenever I create shit, it's just. One day, I, one day I opened my phone and the first post I seen was you going going across somebody's chin. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't know what you talking about. Oh, that wasn't you. That wasn't you. I was waiting on you to say something. It wasn't you. I was waiting on you to say something. That wasn't you. I don't know what you talking about. I'm like, damn, that kind of looked like the baby a little bit. Like, I don't look, know what day you woke up. I don't know what day. I got something better than that. I got, I got some cherry bombs. I don't know if you heard about the cherry bombs. <laughs> What's that? Um, <laughs> I told you I'm into creating, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, products. Shit, yeah. Product and all that. And, you know, you feel me? I'm a fan of the music and shit. And uh, you feel me from the lyrics of your music, like, it sound like you fuck a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not to be all in your business and shit. But, um, you know, so I, you feel me? I feel like you would be the perfect motherfucker to give. You know what I'm saying? These cherry bombs. What you got right here? Male enhancement pills, you feel me? <laughs> Dick pills. You're going to put a hole in the bitch. You put... <laughs> 
They'll keep your shit up all night. For all the <laughs> ladies just in here listening to us, I mean, but ladies. Boy, I'm, uh-huh. got the, got the Excuse terrible, my B huh? word. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, they like that though, bro. Yeah. Yeah, they like that. You all right, but I'm gonna take, take some of these with me chair bombs, man, yeah, yeah. about 400. Yeah. All natural, <laughs> say all natural too. All Listen natural. to me, you, we Believe automatically, all, all of us all natural. All of us already all, all, all natural. All natural, that mean it good That's for you. Gonna, yeah, that, I'm exactly. telling you, I took one. I took <laughs> one now. I took one now. Yeah, yeah. Listen. They gonna point it at me with it. Listen. Now I'm saying Listen, you can call, boy, you feel me? You can call, boy. you can call <laughs> niggas, you feel me? Like I'll let you know who to call y'all. Niggas can about. Call. Yeah, no. niggas gonna call. Sure. I'm right here vouching. I thought it was a gimmick. I thought it was a gimmick. I said, whoa, wait a minute. Just, I'm gonna support nigga cherry bombs by 400. We're gonna see what they here for. I I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna I like when we do episode. I get to take me two days. Update on You want you want one of them motherfuckers? <laughs> oh yeah, I got we you. Make sure we got them. Yeah. Like I know y'all probably didn't heard of the honey packs and all that and all that. Yeah, shit. that type of shit. Yeah. Yeah, that shit bullshit though. My that's shit just they be having at the gas station at yeah, the counter. Yeah, my shit fucking up. Get your gas. Yeah, my shit fucking over all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what it is. Cherry bomb by four hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Cherry bomb. Okay, so stand on sex and relationships. Are you? Currently dating. Who? Like, like you know, like when you go eat and movies and I eat all the time. Like movies and I'm saying shit. like with a young lady. With a young lady? Yeah, yeah. Right now, man, I'm right now I'm focused on my career, man, and my kids. And, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. What's one of the businesses and, and shit like that? That's a smart. That's a smart. Yeah, I like the way you answer creating. questions. That's how I know you're really smart because see, oh, that's the truth. I ain't, I ain't being smart. I'm being honest. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm being honest, that's what I'm on right You're now. You're saving a lot of money too by not going to dates. I'm gonna be honest with yeah. you. Saving a whole lot of bread. Going to eat ain't about shit though. Going to eat is, you know. I see you be cooking online too, I man. Cook, you're, yeah, you're for cooking, sure. That's cooking. what I do. That's, that's, you can cook too now. I've been doing that longer than than all this shit. For sure, for sure. We all done had our experience with women here. Well, it's like one of the craziest things an ex ever did. I ain't even finna tell nobody business on this motherfucker. <laughs> I, I mean. We players. You can tell a story with no names. Craziest, craziest thing somebody did. I don't know, man. Niggas, you know, it get like that, man. Niggas done lived the life. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let Jizzle, I'm going to pass that one to Jizzle. He probably got a better story than I got. Craziest thing an ex did. Um, the fuck the homie. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's yeah, one. Yeah, you can for sure. <laughs> yeah, that go one. Go, I, I was easy. gonna go fight the nigga for another reason. He like, yeah, man, that nigga did fuck your bitch. I'm like, what? I didn't even know he did that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm just sure. gonna go fuck him up or something that's else. That's an easy one for sure. For sure. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Broke my little heart. Nah, for little sure. Little heart for sure. out of your, your chest. Your chest hurts. Fuck that motherfucker. The chest hurts. Ran straight to that alcohol bottle. It got right. It got right. I stood back. Uh, for sure. Uh, now, like I said, this this is our version of a rapid fire question, line of question. But listen, we call it keep it full honey. I don't want none of the pl- I know you you see you good at it, because ever since we've been talking, you real good at it. You figured this interview shit out. So can't nobody just ask you no question and you just answer. But I just want you to keep it full honey for us. I'ma let YG I ain't take told over. You no lie, I'm gonna let YG take over. I ain't told you no lie. Damn, this like nigga starting off like this. Mm-hmm. He on bullshit, ain't it? Yeah, right out the gate. One. Sex or head? Both of them. Both. Top three to baby. But, but in the in, in, in head first. Exactly. Head get first, it going. Head, huh? Let's get head it going. First. There you go. Yeah. Um, Can't be one without the other. Top, top three to baby music videos. Top three to baby music videos. God damn. Uh. Damn. In no particular order, uh, Suge, you gotta, I gotta do Suge just cause, you know, yeah, yeah. Suge, Suge, uh, I gotta say, I need you. I just watched that the other day, that's a throwback, I need you. And I don't, I mean, man, that's a lot of them, bro, God damn. I take that back, I don't know. <laughs> Suge, I need you. And, um, well, whatever, man. It don't matter. I'm gonna throw Bob. shit out. Bob, yeah, we go. Bob, for sure. Bob. There it is. There it is. I'm gonna let yeah. the three have it. I ain't even finna hurt my my head sitting there. <laughs> got them. Sure. How does female rap out right now? Sexy red. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck with sexy. 
if you wasn't a rapper or a creative director, what would you be? <laughs> <laughs> he said porn star. <laughs> uh, I'd be an entrepreneur. I'd be, yeah, I'd be, I'd be a, I'd be an entrepreneur probably. Yeah. I, I'm gonna be good at I'm I'm great at whatever the fuck I do, so I don't Hello. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Oh me, I feel I'm the same already way. I'm already more than that now. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, but yeah, I could be a lot of things, bro. You know, but I'm yeah, a lot of things. I'm I'm gonna say a motherfucking if I wasn't a, a rapper or a creator, I'd be a motherfucking. I'd have went to the lead, nigga. Hello. I'd have went to the lead. Most money you spent on a girl? On a girl? I don't know how much I done spent on my daughter, but. No, 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 no. no. Kids is not included. <laughs> Kids is not included. <laughs> Kids is not included. I don't know. I don't. I ain't, I ain't that type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hello. I, I take it. I ain't, yeah, I ain't that type of nigga. You feel me? Like, I'm one of them niggas with, like, you know, like my presence and, and you know. And like what I put on like a female mind, I inspire or whatever. I don't I don't know. I'ma let I let them tell it. No, but it ain't sure. it ain't the bad. <laughs> it ain't the bad. Not with me. Yeah. That just ain't my game. Yeah, that ain't, ain't P right. Yeah, that ain't, ain't my game. You lead with your pockets, you forever yeah, gonna spend it. None of that. Man. Yeah, that ain't that ain't my Hello. Lead with your yeah, pockets, forever with your pockets. Hello. I ain't trying to pay for you. I ain't trying to yeah. Nigga, yeah, nigga ain't trying to buy your heart. I ain't right? trying to buy your heart. I swear to yeah, God, I ain't. ain't trying to do that. Yeah. J dream collaboration, dead or alive? I'ma say pop. Yeah, I say pop. Sure. Yeah, yeah. If you had to choose one producer to do a whole album with, who would it be, and why? Right now, uh, first on the track. That's my nigga. That's who I started with. You okay. know what I'm saying? So yeah, we making some dope music right now. We making some crazy shit right now. But yeah, definitely, it'll be him. Um, right, Fifty Cent shows one through four between Power. BMF, Raising Canaan, or Force? Raising Canaan, BMF. Yeah. Yeah. Power and Force. Yeah. I fuck with all four of them, though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, no. But I put them in that order, that Raising Canaan shit. That shit, something. That's the best shit on TV. Just tell yeah, us about yeah, that. Yeah, no, that was just talking about that earlier. And yeah. it's, it's probably them, they, them shits, they more urban. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they, they on the. They touch on the on the black side of shit. More shit. relatable. So exactly. Like, like it's especially crazy. the BMF, like them type shits. That shit set on like the South. Like I say in yeah. terms of like they're like the first show that can that them represent it like Southern culture. You get what I'm and saying? And it's real, you know it's about some real some, shit. And then it's you know real, it's about some real, real shit. shit. So that real just shit. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Like they got that. Real black history. Exactly. Nigga. How that shit go on that end and you know that shit, that shit's super dope. So I gotta put that one up there. That yeah, was them, sure. them was it. What city got the baddest females? Right now, probably Houston. Houston right H -Town. now. H-Town. Craziest um, show story first to come to mind. Craziest what, one more time? Show story. What you mean, like? Like. Oh, like at shows. the show? Yeah. Uh. Damn. Well, there's some shit that went down around my way. Craziest show story. Man, I don't know, man. I don't, I, I can't call it. I do some I do some crazy shit them the every time. Uh I don't know. I don't, I call that that type shit normal, bro. I don't even got one for you. I swear. Crazy show story, goddamn. <laughs> Going up there saying that dumb shit at rolling loud. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, that's the craziest, yeah, that's the yeah. craziest <laughs> show story I got going and saying that dumb ass shit that rolling out. Yeah, yeah. I got a crazy one, but my shit a little different. Yeah. Nigga do the show, nigga hop off the bus. I mean, hop off the stage. Yeah. Nigga going to my bus, I'm going to my bus. I yeah. hop on the bus, nigga, two of the homies in there, butt ass nigga. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Go, going up with the females and shit <laughs> on the front of the bus. I walk in the bus, I'm like, man, the fuck you niggas doing? The fuck? Nigga, nasty ass nigga. <laughs> with a driver be or with a. With no, when you be sitting at, you oh, in the kitchen yeah. at. Okay, got bro. You, got you, got you. I'm like, man, what the fuck? The niggas nigga. in there going in. Nigga had my mama on the bus, nigga. My mama uh, like, I gotta go. Oh, I gotta man. go. I'm like, no, nah, you wanna come on tour? This, nah, you know for sure. this tour like. Yeah, go. Yeah, no, that shit was crazy. That's funny as hell. Keep me the 400. I really think this episode was dope. You know why? I think, like I said, people just create their own narratives. If you never say nothing, people just gonna say, oh, 
this you this kind of person, you that kind of person. I think that we touched on a lot of shit that is gonna kind of open that door to be like, hey, I'm I'm actually really a human too. Outside yeah. all this music shit, yeah. fame, and what y'all think of me, I'm I'm a human being. And I make dope ass music. Sure. You understand what I'm saying? Baby, you got anything to say before we go? Nah, it sound good, man. You know, support my nigga hundred, support him 400 times. Man, like did what bro. I'm saying, man. Dope platform, dope shit going on. Love and respect everything you got going on. And yeah, that's just what it is. Appreciate you for pulling up, my nigga. You know, bro. Shit. Appreciate it no. for real. For me. YG, got anything while we close it out? Oh man, 400 game, 400 everything, you know what I'm saying? Real nigga in the building, you know what I'm saying? Love. 400. Go go to your local store and get the uh, cherry bombs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 400.